Sometimes you'll find it easier to copy and paste data from a Word document or an Excel sheet into the Excel sheet that we use for this class, the ESP3 Excel sheet. So here's data from uh, Chapter 6 notes, and I highlight it by clicking and drag o dragging over this raw data. Once I highlight the data, then I right mouse click and copy it. Then I go to the Excel sheet and I find the location where I want to paste that data. And let's say right here we wanted to paste the data, so I would right mouse click and choose Paste Special. But since it's from a Word document, I, I have to choose Paste Special, not just Paste, Paste Special, and I have to choose Text then. Okay, so if you choose Paste Special, you'll get a submenu here and you choose Text. If you choose Regular Paste, not Paste Special, it will lock up the cells of your Excel sheet. So this is important if you're going to actually copy and paste values. You copy and paste Special as text for Word documents. And when you say OK, it pastes that, that uh, data into your uh, Excel sheet. Now, on the CD that comes with the, cor uh, with the course uh, and also on your Blackboard site, there's an Excel sheet called Data. And what you can do here is, is some of the problems and some of the examples already have the data typed into this Excel sheet, so you don't have to re, uh, recopy them. So, for example, if you wanted to copy this data here from the Chapter 2 opener on page 33, it's right here on the Data Excel sheet that's on your Blackboard and on your CD. I highlight that data by clicking and dragging over that data, and that's a lot of numbers to have to type in. But once I get those, I right mouse click and copy them, and then I go to the Excel sheet, and I find the place that I might want to use that data. Let's say it was back in Chapter 2 where I was just dealing with raw data. I click on the first cell to paste this information in, right mouse click, and again, choose Paste Special, not Paste. And then you'll get a submenu. And the choice to choose here is values. Say OK, and it pasted that data in. Now that that data is in there, you can get any information you want out of it. Make sure you don't have any extra data down at the bottom of the sheet that, that was already in. So this had a lot of data that you would have had to type in. And there is no extra data on this. So. Anyway, it saves you a lot of time in uh, typing if you can copy and paste. And again, from Word documents, you copy and paste special and then choose text. And from Excel sheets, you do copy and paste special as values. And that's a nice shortcut to uh, use so you don't have to type in a lot of data all the time.